So you're not going to be recordless. And the, the antique store has probably, I don't know, 145s, 200 maybe. And like, you know, LPs and shit like that. What's the name of this spot? The name of the spot we're going to is uh, Dover Antique Center. Now we're going to Scotty's. Dover Antique. Go directly to Scotty's. Do not pass go. It's got a... Your name is Alfred E. Newman. Oh yeah. Alfred E. Newman. Thank you. Some El Nass over here. Gee, that's cool. And that's all the fun I've ever gotten in. If I take it home and own it, I have it right here in the store. Every time I come here, I crack up over there. Because Jimmy's a whole collection here. Sir, I'm America. Ready. Okay. How many Jimmy's do you have? A lot. Four or five. This one you don't see that often. Let's see, these, this is the terrible one. He put it out by himself, yeah. This one's good. This is the one I'm wearing. Yep, for sure. Promo, too. The promo. Cover. Totally. Oh, nice. Insane, right? Jimmy Smith's nasty too. Okay, I'm on your shirt, yeah. I know. I, you know how I knew he died actually from your show. You got him on your shirt. I did not know. Oh, and then from the, the part four thing. Um, or no, it was you. You did a rest in peace thing yes, to him. Yes, yes, yes. And I didn't know. And Dude, then I was you like, were so composed. I was a wreck that day. I guess. I, I don't, I'm, yeah, more, I'm kind of emotional anyway, but like, I was, I was a little. Cool. I can't turn on the camera unless I'm like all and <laughs> up and happy. Like if I'm not like in that mood, I'm like people don't want to see me like this. You might be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> some people might want to see you cry. <laughs> it's kind of true though. Totally. The haters. You're not. You're not appealing to the crying set. Do, do one. The, the emo haters. set. <laughs> I sweat this one too every time. Well, I come what's here. the idea that you have that I should do in one show? What's that? You said you should do one without any pants on. Yeah, pantsless. <laughs> do do it top ten pantsless. Oh, don't totally. don't regard and don't regard to it at all. Totally. Yeah, just do it. No. <laughs> just don't even say anything. Yeah. And then next episode, be like, it's come to my attention that yeah, I yeah. forgot to wear pants in the last sans episode. Pants. I apologize for. Sorry any about the sans pants. Oh, man. you do a whole a whole string of the sans pants. Oh. I got to examine this long term comedic thinking. It's it's very it's very curb your enthusiasm. Uh, it's it's terrible. terrible. I'm going for too much of the quick punchlines. <laughs> is, is, is this the one that has a... Uh... All right. Here I am. I have your packages here. Okay. Okay? Yep. Break out the portable. Uh, where it is. Returns to the village gate. Turn time. He's got great records. Yeah. Down bottom, three for five. Sure. Mm -hmm. Three for five? Yep. But it's the worst ELO ever, so. Yeah. Look how great it sits, though. Donovan. Ooh. Donovan's the man. Talk to me. Love Donovan. Now I can finally shut up about that on Facebook every single time they, they put out the new nominees and Donovan's not there. Donovan. He's in. He's not in the Hall of Fame. It's a sacrilege. What do you think about War getting loud about the Beastie Boys? I didn't hear anything about it. War, uh, the lead singer, was very vocal the day after it was announced and said, how could a group that sampled us be going in before us? That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Well, I mean, in their defense, they, have, they think they sold a few more records than them. You know what I mean? Definitely a unique, you can't figure diverse that out. sound that they brought to the table. Yeah, you can't, you can't I mean, figure out that stuff. Well, how do you measure consistency versus originality? The Beastie Boys were almost making fun of rap when they started, but they just got good at it later on. Cookie right? Puss. How does it feel? Two threes.
There he is. Nice. Five balls, man. I used that in the open one in the top ten. Yeah, so that covered before. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I can see that. With comic. Apparently there's a comic in this. Hopefully. I found the, the horns for the for the Pete Rock remix of uh Shown Down. I used to know what that is, huh? It's it's uh, I forgot. It's the same the same guy Pete Rock got famous for using the horns. Uh, Tom Tom Scott. Scott. Yeah. Different tune. Oh. Somebody dropped a bomb. Really? <laughs> He who smoked it. Actually, he stepped away. I was going to say, I, it, hmm. I, I look guilty, but I'm not. He fled the scene of the crime. I would have fled first and, Might have been a and then released. Any one of these people. We'll have to go to the smell cam on that one. <laughs> Replay it back. I just got 45 of uh, I Love It Loud with this cover. Sweet. I don't think it ever made the charts though. It's I found that uh, one chick they sing on it. Who's that? Um. Oh, um, I'm not sure. Oh, the, the Soul album? Yeah. From 72 or something like that? Yeah, I yeah. I, I found it in the city. I can't think of the Spencer's, lady's name. Expensive record. Yeah, so, it was on the wall. <laughs> so I buy this 45. And it's got the thing clipped off, and I'm like, well, no one's ever gonna have another copy. It's I love it loud. I never made the charts. I go back to the same store a week later, and it's a brand new sleeve, <laughs> not chopped off. Really? I'm like, I'm not buying this out of spite. I go home. Another week transpires. I go, you know, I gotta go have it. Maybe he'll just swap it for me. I go there, and it's gone. What are the odds of that? You deserve it. What are the odds? There. What are the odds of two Mad Magazine board games within 10 feet of each other? You should have get that on exactly. camera, man. Yeah, you need to. That's like a sign of the apocalypse, I think. I'm really yeah. shaking not trying to buy it, <laughs> and I don't have any room left on any luggage to go back to Florida, so I have to limit. And Howling at the Moon. I had a great collection of Ramones, man. Can't find them anymore. Uh, get your Red Bull on, yeah. I don't have any trouble seeing you, so, uh, that kind of CD would say, yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 Thank you for coming in. Oh, I loved this album cover when I was younger. Yeah. This, this one, and my favorite was uh, the pros and cons of hitchhiking with Roger Waters with the naked chick on the yeah, cover yeah, yeah, hitchhiking. Totally. Yeah, perfect. He's doing the wall. There you go. Sat around the pile. I have it. It's a dope remix. It's tasty too. Tasty, tasty. Charlie Noah. Huh? It's quite the tune. And my all she wants to do is dance sleeve is destroyed. Uh -huh. Even though I don't want to spend two dollars on a new sleeve, I will because I have a disease. Yes. Very sick. I don't even know what this song sounds like, but I, because I have the other seventeen goddamn Rick Springfield. He's a sick man. Sickness. He's a sick man. Sickness. There's a void that has to be filled in yes. the Rick Springfield. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a sick man. Exactly. The, okay. There's a hole in my heart only Rick Springfield can fill. Rick Springfield used to play with Parliament, did he? I think he did. They're playing in Sarahville tonight. No way. Really? Jeez. Yeah. That's awesome. That's insane. Yeah, I was like, what is it? Oh, I was like, oh man. Crazy. They probably actually come to like House of Blues in Orlando, like, it seems like every three months. Really? It's becoming the new, like, Vegas circuit, the whole, I guess. People are following them around now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much.
Well, there you go. After, and sometimes, much, I, I would like to say also <laughs> that sometimes my sickness helps others. That's yeah. the other reason. I saved money for this. Right. I might as well fire a Springfield right. and yes. have a little smile on her face. I'll co sign that. <laughs> I'll, I'll co sign that. This is what uh, they would tell you in a circle. This is your disease talking. Yes. Don't let your. Fight it. Fight. <laughs> fight, man. Fight. You must fight for your right. I feel bad for people watching this. Paparazzi. <laughs> you bored yet? <laughs> okay. Salvation. YouTube All Star Team, take two. Your salvation is across the street. You don't want to step out now. Right? Actually, you know what? This place is open, I think it is. They have like a little thing of 45s too. Let's go there and Cool. Hey! And how good you're going to see. Yeah, just sit. I like to dig in the thrifts if they take care of it. Just some of the stuff. Big Sean Cassidy fan. Are you? Yeah, I have a poster on my ceiling actually. Did you ever get upset that he didn't spell it the same way you I did? did? Okay. It, it ruined my whole uh, elementary school experience. So when you were spacing out in class, you would, you would spell your name out his way on your notebook? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I nice. can't even lie, when I was a kid in high school, I, I, I was obsessed with the billboard charts, and so that my favorite record store, whenever that week would end, they would put the billboard chart for that for me. And I memorized it to the point where not only did I sit in, in class and space out and write out what was in the chart, I took the opportunity to freak a guy out one day. We were, we were working on a play, like building a set or something, and they were playing the Casey Case and Countdown, and I had already memorized the previous week's thing. It doesn't come out on the radio until a week later, so I'm going... The next song is going to be Scritty Plitty, and after that it's going to be Simple Mind. <laughs> He's like, how are you doing that? Because it went on for like an hour. Yeah, it's my kind of nerdism right there. Geek rule and nerd rule. How did Casey Kasem get that? Casey Kasem rule. He's shaggy, man. He's, he's, he's Robin. He's shaggy. He's Robin, too. Which Robin? Robin from Batman. The cartoon? He, he was the voice Justice of Robin. Justice League. Oh, really? I never knew that. Great injustices. Christmas records. Yay. Christmas records. You know why I think I was obsessed with the billboard charts is because I was obsessed with the accuracy of when a song usually died in the public's eye. And it pissed me off if a song kept rising and yet it had already died to the rest of us and other ones fell off too early. Like Jam On It was just starting to get traction and yet it... I don't know, I guess certain markets gave up on it. Nice. Forever Young. The album. Forever Young. It's brought back by Napoleon Dynamite. Did they, did they start that um, cartoon? Cartoon they started? So awesome. Again? Is it good? I haven't seen it yet. D I double G I N on the road till it ends, rocking strong and steady. No matter the trends, armed and ready with records and friends, crates, trees and gems. No fake steeds and stems, steel tables and men, scratch and win. Sniff through a bin, sip through a few Heinekens, extract and check. No chips and cracks. Final to spin and scratch A new beat hatch from the magic hat Imagine that, wizardry unmatched Your favorite rapper unmasked Put the pedal on smash Put the work in the trash Burn up the track while the wax attack The meek fall back We keep on spinning and spitting You keep on watching and listening We keep on spinning and spitting You keep on watching and listening Yeah, yeah. 
The visuals and audio mixing The records are collecting Stella's disappearing The girls are more appealing The beats got more feeling The rhymes got you reeling the Economy got you stealing Coke and weed got you dealing Getting busted got you squealing County got you kneeling Face down no ceiling Internal wounds not healing Caps keep on peeling Good ones dying Bad ones lying A dark horizon can be disguising When the dust and dirt is rising The weak will inherit hurt Water will take over the earth Deep crates, planetary rebirth Rebirth Deep in space, deep in meditation, concentration, time for some action. 33 and a third, my favorite fraction. My volume's always maxing, the habit always scratching, the beat is always matching, new ideas always happening, rapping in new synonyms. Send the whack MCs in, prepare for the sacrifice, they shall suffice. Dare he who thinks he's nice, grab the mic, start the fight. Struggle with nouns and verbs, I'll ground and pound all your words, make your speech sound absurd. Third, you're tied for third. Deep crates in the avid word, 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 word. To a dig, another spot I gotta hit, a place I can't miss I'm on the road to a dig, another spot I gotta hit, a place I can't miss I'm looking for gems and dust and dirt, mold and worse, markets and curbs Bugs and herbs, bins and crates, boxes, cases, trunks, places Off the beaten path, 51 the math, dog man's trap, jazz is back Sample the soul and funk tracks Keep Tim's on bottom, top with the fitted cap Hot with an itch to rap, wax to scratch Load sample pads to match, trim drums to smash Chop loops to bash, make tempos fast And the cymbals crash, the bass blast while the echo lasts Sounds from the past, straight from the trash Buttons to mash, burning like ash Drinking like tash, worthless like cash I'll trade beats for a hash Speedily scratch like the flash with the rash Till I bleed out of gas, till I run out of gas Give you what you want, don't front That lo-fi hiss with a little bump ba bump bump crack pop and kick The snare hit and the bass thick That's how we flip Okay, no time for choruses, we all know what the deal is When you're on the road digging, any spot can be hitting Cop mad funk in an old white biker bitch's kitchen Country farm barn digging, curbside connections The goodwill's given, searching for the missing beat like animal chin Ask who if you never busted a shin, or just a youngin Maybe I'm too old for you to appreciate knowledge told Speak out bold, hardcore never fold 2012, how many hard copies you sold? I do this for love, fun, and respect, that's real. I'll stop only when I keel. Over sex, drugs, and money, I'll take records every time, you big dummy. Total Hands, watch the great show every Monday night. When you get a chance, go strangestribberish.net and download it and watch it, whatever the hell you gotta do. But just get on it and make sure you be watching my man Deep Crates chilling and digging in them goddamn crates. You heard, you heard, you heard. Bro.
name's Omega Jackson. When I'm not at the place where your sister strips, you know, with the pasties going around in circles and motherfuckers in food stamps looking at her stab wounds, I'm tuning into the Crate Show every Monday with the strangegibberish.net. You, you heard? See how we get down? We got bumper stickers, motherfucker. We like Ron Paul. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, tune in or tune out, whatever the fuck you doing. Alright? Big up to my man Deep Craze. He holding it down. After his sister strips, she's in his bedroom. Peace. And what's this? Yo, it's the Craig Show bumper sticker. How many, how many fucking digging shows got bumper stickers? Y'all gotta step y'all game up. You got bumper stickers, he got a pen. You probably got a pen somewhere. Probably got a billboard in Orlando. So, you know what I mean? And, yo, here's the pen. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if you a governor somewhere and you'd like to sign death warrants for people that are innocent, but you sign death warrants, Go get the deep crates pen. Know what I'm saying? My name is Omega Jackson. And I'm SG. One.